We've all had hot girl summer last year. So today I'm gonna teach you how you're gonna have rich girl summer 2024. Hi everyone, I'm Eugenia and welcome back to my channel. So we all know that last year we had hot girl summer, we were going on hot girl walks, we were just working on our body. I think this summer we should level it up and have rich girl summer. And this doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to have um, to spend a lot of money. This just means that you are going to put yourself first and you are going to be rich within yourself and with how you look and you're going to feel rich. So this doesn't mean that you're going to spend millions of dollars. We are just going to have a rich girl summer 2024 in every single aspect. And I've already started working on these things. So I'm going to share some tips with you on how you can look really classy and really expensive and just have your best rich girl summer. So first and foremost, of course, we have to take care of our body. Our body is our temple. We have to put our body first because this is what really makes it possible for us to live our everyday life. And if we are not taking care of our temple and our body, it's going to show in every aspect of our life. So the first thing that I suggest is making sure that you find a workout that you like, whatever it is, and stick to it. Be consistent. And that is the hardest, hardest part. Trust me, it's so difficult for me to be consistent because one week I'm like, oh, I'm a Pilates princess. The next week I love solid core and that's all strength. The following week I'm like, oh, I'm going to go back to the gym and lift heavy. The week after that I'm like running and that is like my sport. So I think that whatever you like, just get into a routine and stick to it. So you can do one day Pilates, one day solid core, one day running, one day lifting. You can do that, but just make sure you do that every single week and stick to it or else you're not going to see results. So that is my number one tip for taking care of your body. Number two, make sure you get 10,000 steps minimum per day. And this is separate to your workout, okay? Like I wear a smartwatch the whole day and then usually by the time I'm going to sleep, I've hit like 15 or 14,000 steps because I walk my dog, I walk around the house, I do like a 10 minute walking warm up before I work out and then a 10 minute cool down once I'm done working out. So I hit around 14, 15,000 steps. But some days where I don't work out, I'm making sure that I hit 10K steps. This is going to help you lean out. It's going to help your muscles relax a little. And you're working out different muscles than the ones that you're using during your workout. And another thing is that walking doesn't raise your cortisol levels. So I think it's the best form of cardio and you don't have to do it really fast. You just have to make sure that somehow you're hitting those 10K steps. This doesn't mean that you have to go speed walking or anything of that sort. Number three, and this is a very simple one, is eat healthy. Make sure that you're getting all the nutrients. Make sure that you're eating a variety of foods because you need that variety of foods in your gut so that you can have different microbiomes that are going to take care of you. Watch a Netflix documentary. I forgot what it's called, but it's about your gut and it's about the microbiomes that live in you and all of that. It's very, very educational and it's going to change your life. It's not going to make you change your diet. So it's not going to transform you into being a vegan or anything of that sort. It's just going to teach you about how the body works and what you can do to make your body better. So eating a lot of different vegetables, different types of meat, different types of carbs, that's going to help your digestive system get used to those different types of food and digest that food a lot better. And on top of that, it's going to help your skin glow. You're going to feel more energized. You know, you probably heard all of this already. I'm just making sure that you know a level deeper besides what everybody tells you like, oh, food's great. You're going to lose weight you're going to glow, you're going to be more energetic. Like it's beyond that. It's going to help internally your body and it's going to make sure that you're fighting all the germs and viruses that you might be in contact with. So make sure you're getting a lot of different veggies, a lot of different fruits, um, and just try to eat fun and colorful. Number four, take care of your skin and your hair. Our skin is our biggest organ. We breathe through our skin as well. So make sure that you are buying natural products. I know that you want to buy like the Tom Ford Shimmer Glow or the Dior Shimmer Glow or some lotion that you found that smells really nice at Target, you can go ahead and do that. I am not telling you not to do that, but 
my personal advice is to go on the EWG website and find a good lotion and a good scrub that's natural and that it's not going to harm your body and your skin in ways that you can't visually see. So it's not like it's going to make, it's going to give you a scratch or you're going to get blisters or you're going to get a rash or anything of that sort from the products you're currently using. But if you change to natural product, it's just so much better for your skin. Obviously, natural products don't have all the fragrance that the products that you buy at Target do. So you're going to have a little bit of a um, trial and error until you find the product that you like. But I really do recommend sticking to natural products for your skin because it's going to help a lot. I use body scrub every other day and then I use a natural lotion every single night. So that is one of the ways that you can take care of your body as well. And finally is nails, okay? And I know this can be tricky because nowadays nails are very expensive but one way that you can make it less expensive is growing out your own nails you don't have to go and get extensions every single time take your time to grow out your own nails instead of getting gel x and extensions go to the nail salon and one week just get regular gel manicure the following week, get regular gel manicure or powder or anything else on your actual nail. And at the beginning, it's going to be very short and you're not going to like it. But trust me, in like three weeks, your nails are going to grow so, so fast. And in like a month, you're going to have the length that you want. So I go to the manicure every three weeks or maybe even every four weeks, like every month, depending on how bad it is. And I just get very clean, very simple manicure um, styles. I try for the summer to go very light, French, light pink, um, just like very nice, calm colors. Try to stick to your summer colors, even if it's a blue or something of that sort. But my trick is that if you get a natural base, when your nail starts growing, you can't really Really see that your nail is growing because your natural nail color matches your natural base that you got at the salon. So that's why I always try to do neutral nails so that when it grows, it, it still looks very classy and it looks like you just got them done yesterday even though they're grown a little so that is the best way that you can take care of your body for a rich girl summer you're gonna look so put together you're gonna be glowing from the inside out and you're gonna feel great next Another way to have a rich girl summer is to take care of our minds. And I know you probably heard all of this, but I'm just going to repeat it again. Journaling, meditating, mental health walks, um, limiting your social media, and protecting your energy, okay? This is a big one because all the ones that I just mentioned, people probably mentioned it to you too. You saw YouTube videos, you heard podcasts, like those are the obvious ones. But protecting your energy is something that's really, really hard to do. And a lot of people are people pleasers and and it's very difficult to put yourself first if you're a people pleaser. What protecting your energy means, it means that if you go out with someone and then you come home and you feel drained, but you just went out to, I don't know, grab a drink or go have coffee, like something very easygoing and you feel drained, that means that that person is taking so much from you that you come home and you have no energy left for yourself. Um, also, if you are around people and they're just very negative, they're very toxic, they talk about behind your back, anything of that sort, cut them out, protect your energy, or if you can't cut them out for whatever reason, it just limit the amount of time that you are seeing these people. You have to protect yourself. You have to give yourself some peace and you have to make sure that those people don't take space in your mind. And I know it's so difficult as a people pleaser myself and somebody that does not like conflict at all. I do not like conflict. If I can avoid conflict by just agreeing to what the other person says, even though I disagree with them, I will because I just don't like conflict at all. I am not confrontational. Um, I just rather ignore and keep living my life basically. Um, and that is very hard if you have toxic uh, people around you and you just can't seem to like let them go because you don't want to get in a fight with them or anything of that sort. But you have to protect your energy. So even if you don't want to fight with them and stop being their friends, um, just really limit the amount of times that you're hanging out with them. Maybe mute their Instagram and TikTok account or unfollow them. Maybe they won't even notice that you unfollow them. Like who knows? Block them, whatever. Just protect your energy. You know, wear a lot of evil eyes if you believe in that. Make sure that you take care of yourself. Sage your house. Just saying. Okay. 
So something else that you can do to have a rich girl summer is clothes, dressing up. And I know that my channel is all about fashion, the majority of it, and mostly luxury fashion. And that can be out of budget for a lot of people. So I want to let you know that you can have a rich girl summer and dress like a rich girl without having to buy luxury things. You do not need a luxury budget to have a rich girl summer. You can find all the beautiful, classy, timeless pieces at Target. I literally have these wide leg white pants that I initially bought for work from Target because I didn't know how often I would be going into the office and now I wear them all the time because they look so classy and so timeless and I only spend $25 on them and they're really thick and good quality. Also Abercrombie and if Abercrombie is still a little bit out of your budget, check out their sales. You know, like they just had a Memorial Day sale. They're going to have probably a 4th of July sale and that is the perfect time for you to buy things. Just make a list with links of everything that you want and go buy it during these sales. Don't buy them right away. Don't be like impatient. Just wait and buy it during the sales and that is how you're going to save a lot of money while still dressing up really nice and classy. I also suggest that you really take time to learn how to match clothes, what looks good with what, but also at the same time when you're doing this, make sure that you're not purchasing like a top and shorts that only look good together and then you have nothing else in your closet that you can match it with because you're gonna wear that combination maybe three times and then after a while you're gonna be like well everybody saw me with this I posted five pictures on Instagram with this I got tagged in seven pictures and you're just not gonna want to use that anymore and that is a waste of money and a waste of space in your closet so really take time to figure out and learn how to match clothes together so that when you are purchasing, you know that you can wear that item that you're purchasing multiple times and you're going to look super classy and flawless. Number two is learn your colors. What colors look good on you? For example, with me, I know I have blondish, brownish hair. I have green eyes. My skin is very pale. So like, I think I'm a little bit tan today, but maybe to you, I'm not tan. Um, so I know that for me, really bright colors do not look good on me. Like gemstone colors don't look good on me. It doesn't look good on my skin like I just look very off for me it's all the baby blues all the baby colors baby blues baby pinks baby yellows that looks really really good on me I think it just blends in and gives like an angelic look but for like other people like a bright orange looks really really good like, I have a lot of friends that are tanned and they look amazing with really bright floral dresses and I know that if I were to put that dress on it would not look the same on me so really learn your colors because that is going to be a game changer when it comes to your closet. And then finally, another thing is learn what type of clothes look good on you for your body. And I know nowadays people are like, wear whatever you want, you're fine. But if you're really trying to do this rich girl summer, you need to learn how to dress for your body. For example, my body is very hourglass. And when this whole trend of baggy jeans became a thing, baggy jeans do not look good on me because my hips are very, very wide. And so they make my legs look very, very wide because the baggy jean is just straight like that. If I were a smaller girl and didn't have white hips, it would look nicer. But because I have white hips, you don't see the hourglass shape with wide pants. You just see straight. You see like a rectangle. So... I try to avoid wide pants or if I do do wide pants like my wide uh, trousers that I bought from Target I like to put on top something very very hugging and very very slim so that it gets my waist and like the top part of my hourglass shape so make sure you do some research go look at videos go look on TikTok what do this types of shapes or if you don't know your shape like what shape am I and see how you can figure out what shape you are and what type of clothes look better on you do you have a longer torso do you have a shorter torso do you want to look taller or you don't care you know just stuff like that make sure that you know and educate yourself on that because it is going to be such a game changer once you know what colors and what shapes to put on your body to look a certain way so going hand in hand with the clothes that I just spoke about is jewelry so jewelry can be very very personal so I'm not really going to tell you what to buy or what not to buy but buy jewelry that is good quality or that 
it looks expensive. I know a lot of us are buying jewelry and clothes from Shein or from anywhere else and I get it if it's a piece of jewelry that you're gonna wear one time like um, seashell earrings for a cruise or um, like a body chain for the beach or something like that. I understand completely but in my opinion I think we should just save that money and buy a piece of jewelry that's better quality and that you can re-wear multiple times and it's a timeless piece. So for example I have a lot of necklaces. All of these necklaces are gold and I invested in these necklaces because I knew I was going to wear these three necklaces for the rest of my life and they are so timeless. They look so chic but they also look very classy and it looks rich. It looks like rich girl summer but I bought them off of Etsy and they're gold so you can find your way around how to look expensive. You don't need to go and buy a Cartier love bracelet. You can go and find something similar or if you like that bangle style go buy other bangles from other places but make sure you invest in good quality jewelry. Also if you don't want to buy gold because it's still out of your budget you can buy gold plated or if you don't want to buy like diamonds that's out of your budget you can buy lab made diamonds. Um, there's just so many ways around it where you can buy a good quality piece of jewelry that's going to already elevate your outfit make you look timeless beautiful and giving you that rich girl summer look that we are trying to go for. And finally, the last tip is makeup. My only tip for makeup is to highlight your features. That's it. Like, if you want to wear a lot of makeup, go for it. You're just going to be melting in the summer air, but... I don't care about that as long as you highlight your features because I realized that when we do makeup, we try to contour and change the way our face looks, but we're just so unique and we're so beautiful. And I know this sounds cheesy, but we should be highlighting our own features. Like don't overline your lips anymore. I stopped overlining my lips a long time ago. Um, don't contour. I used to contour my nose a lot. Now I just put like blush over here and I'm like, okay, call it a day. Um, I used to do like a an extreme cat eye or brush my eyebrows up so that I could get like a nice lip. I'm too lazy for that and then it's just you have to be so precise for that and now what I just do is I highlight my features because I know that I look best when I look like me and I think we all look best when we look like who we are supposed to be and it's just giving very rich girl summer when you look very clean and usually when we try to change our features we don't look clean because we're using way too much makeup Makeup, or like you can actually see the contouring lines. I know on TikTok and on YouTube and other places like when people show that they're contouring you can hardly see it but when you talk to them in person you see people's contour lines, you see people's pores, you see people's hair, you see people's like texture in the skin. So keep it light, keep it simple, highlight your own beauty. You know, we don't have to go around changing what we look like. And that is going to give us the ultimate rich girl summer, which is the best version of ourselves, feeling super luxurious and expensive, but on a budget. And in every way, shape or form, you are going to feel incredible because you're working on your mental health, you're working on your body, you're working on how you're dressing up and learning how to dress up same with the jewelry and then finally you are working on embracing your features so i think it's time for rich girl summer and i am definitely going to have a rich girl summer i already started working on all of these things and i'm so excited to see how the summer plays out and i hope you guys can join me in having a rich girl summer too thanks for watching bye bye